fighting you. I like that. Then you're gonna love me. Welcome back again, guys, to the Bronze Tiger Show, brand new YouTube channel where we talk about DC Comics and martial arts movie cinema. So, uh, another episode we're going to do here for the martial arts portion, but this time we're going to go ahead and do our lovely segment called Boards Don't Hit Back. Boards Don't Hit Back. So, with boards don't hit back, uh, we're going to take a look at a particular fight scene coming from uh, the movie called Talents of the Eagle, starring the man himself, Billy Blanks, the Tybo master, right? Now, I know what you must be thinking, Tybo, the Tybo guy, right? But Billy Blanks is actually a certified official martial artist and has some martial art movies underneath his belt uh, i personally like him I, i've looked at some of his his movies i think his best um out of all the movies he's made which uh, are not too many uh i think is uh um a hidden tiger uh and uh it's it's um it's 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 actually kind of like blood sport really but it's 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 his best one um but this time we're looking at talents of the eagle okay and particularly we're looking at the final fight between uh billy blanks and uh um mathis hughes uh, who is also a martial artist and actor um a funny one <laughs> i guess i you could say <laughs> I, I you know mathis hughes always has the uh tendency to play the bad guy right because he's got that look you know he's very tall uh big extremely buff uh um and uh he he has that look as as being just that you know the villain and uh, that's what he plays here again i think he's actually fought in billy blanks twice once in this movie here talons of the eagle and another one and i think it's called uh uh, uh, uh what's he T6000, uh, uh, I think is the name of the movie, but um, either way, let's go ahead and uh, examine this one here today, <laughs> Talons of the Eagle, the final fight here, so let's go ahead and take a look at this one here, and uh, see how this one's going to go, uh, very, uh, very interesting uh, movie overall, but the fight scenes are, uh, are definitely dated, I guess, I, I really don't want to say dated, dated because they were you know they were martial arts uh fights you know um prior to this movie even being released where um they were a whole lot better than this so but let's take a look at it there of course he's running in you know you gotta it's back in those days as always you gotta always have to have the shirt off right it's always about the display of muscle back in the the 80s you know early 90s this right here is what cracks me up look at this <laughs> let's stop right there okay and let's gotta go back a little bit all right uh the thing that's so silly about this and 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 not even like what uh a minute two minutes in right or or not even two not even a minute 20, 20 seconds in, right? just about just about twenty seconds in, uh, he automatically starts off. Uh, Mathis Hughes, that is, starts off with the set of kicks, right? And if we and if we go back and look at it, right, the kicks are of the of the same leg. They are very predictable, and he <laughs> Billy Blake's just keeps getting hit. I mean, it is so obvious. It's, it's a simple uh, a version of this would just be to to dodge, get out of the way. Look at this. He he always has this hop, and then there it goes the kick again. Oop, kick again. It's that same left leg that he keeps he keeps putting up that he keeps kicking Billy with. And also too, Matt, uh, Mathis Hughes is all, is 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 known for that 
um, interesting little skip before he gets into that kick. He he's done that in several of the different movies he's been in. It's it's kind of his his signature, the little skip kick that he does. It's it's actually kind of funny. Uh, but and again, Mathis Hughes is a certified martial artist. Um, but you know, I think with this 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 with a lot of his movies and in this movie uh, as well, it's pretty much shown that. Just because you are a certified martial artist does not necessarily mean that it will always translate perfectly onto into a movie setting, right, onto screen. Because as you'll see throughout this fight, he has a lot of awkward moments and where a lot of things don't look too official. They don't look... It, he, he is a certified martial artist, but the way he fights, it looks very um, amateurish. Uh, so, you know... Just because you're a martial artist doesn't necessarily mean that it's easy to translate those skills into movies. I don't know if it's just that he's... Uh, who knows? You know, I'm not even going to go into what could possibly be the case because we don't know, right? I don't know. But uh, it's just interesting. Now, Billy Blanks, again, certified martial artist, his portrayal to the screen looks a lot better than Matthew Hughes, but he also has a huge flaw, a, a very huge flaw in the way he does things too. But let's let's just go ahead and get right back into it. Let's 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 continue on after that. Right there, kick in the face, kick across. That's another one of Matthew Hughes' favorite. And notice he's just he's just letting himself get hit. Billy Blaze is letting himself get hit. Pin to the wall, knee to the chest, smacked across the face. Boom! There's a skip hop. There it is again. Skip, skip, kick across the kick. So he's now. Let's stop it right here. Let's let's keep in mind he's using one leg <laughs> through this entire thing. He's using one leg only through all this. Okay, <laughs> one. Leg. I think this is silly. It's it's the left leg constantly to the face, and this takes up, you know. Of course, there's more to the fight, but to allow yourself, I'm talking about the on the side of Billy Blanks, to allow yourself to continue to get hit by this slow, predictable kick. I mean, at this point, you should have already guessed what his next move is going to be. And even though I stopped it right here, I'm sure you can guess what his next move is going to be. It's, it's just extremely silly how he keeps getting hit. Now, in an actual fight, a kick is is something that, especially to start off with, okay, if you're actually fighting someone, let's say you're on the streets, you're actually fighting someone, to start off with a kick is a very dumb move, okay, because something like that, especially uh, when performed incorrectly and silly as though Matthew, <laughs> Matthew Hughes has shown, is not going to be as effective as you think. And it can actually open yourself up to be, beaten really badly okay and reason why i say that is because in in most cases unless it's a kick to the face uh which and you know starting off in a fight like that um that's, that's not going to be the case because it you know it's it's you, the, the timing in which your leg has to come from the ground all the way up to that individual's face is a lot slower than the time that it would take for your fist to connect to their face. Okay, so the 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 person has more of a of a, a reaction time, either to move back, block, or step back, get out of the way. So and and because of that, you're going to open yourself up to be harmed badly. Okay, so it's so unrealistic uh, to even start this off like that with a series of kicks, especially the ones that Mathis has put out. All right. And as you have seen to this point, Billy Blanks is not trying in, in any way, shape or form to block, move, evade, nothing. He's just taking them, taking them like crazy. OK, and this is what makes this fight seem so silly. Um, now, again, we'll look at this thing and say, OK, well, look at the date and when this movie came out. That doesn't matter. I'm talking about we can go back to the 70s. Here, we can go back to the 70s, baby, and look at everything that the Shaw Brothers put out. 
very elegant, nicely done uh, with their choreography. Timing was perfect. Everything looked vigorated and fresh. Now, keep in mind, of course, that was one of the problems with the Shaw Brothers back then is they kept doing the same thing over and over again. They've got like hundreds and hundreds of movies, but all of them are uh, just about as as unique as a uh, uh, a bunch of chickens gathered together in a coop like it it, it they all are the same right uh and uh so but but still they were still masters of choreography and i know in these cases like this because this movie like many of other billy blanks's movies and many of other mathis's uh uh movies that he's been been in they're low budget so that's understandable Com- completely understand low budget films uh so I would I would argue that maybe the effort in trying to choreograph something is not there, and maybe it was left to uh, um, them to come up with the choreography. Maybe that's the case, but you know I feel that you want to make this as 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 best as you can, especially since this is a movie. This is going this movie is going to last, you know, well after till you're gone. Like what we're doing right now, taking a look at this fight scene. I mean, if you don't put any effort into it. This this is this is obviously the result. I mean, we're looking at what what's happening here. If I was Billy or or Mathis, I would try to take a little bit more time and effort in the choreography, uh, and to come up with something uh, um, very um, uh, time worthy, very uh, unique, and vigorating. You know, to really demonstrate both of their skills and to apply some type of great even exchange of a fight scene between the two of them. Um, you know, it's just, that's just what I would, I would really take some time to effort. You can see that not much time was put into this and it may be that the, none of them really care too much just because it's a, a B movie, not getting paid that much or, or it's something simple that they're trying to make at the end of the day. Or maybe they're short on time, whatever the case may be. But I think there should be some effort put in, right? And because this is a movie, the movie's going to last way up and it's, it's, it's you, you can find this stuff on youtube it's, as long as the internet's going to be around this fight scene is going to be around so i think maybe uh that's probably a message for a lot of martial artists movie martial artists moving forward really take some time and coming up with a very good fight scene whether if it's low budget or for something that you're coming up with yourself i've seen on youtube uh amateurs coming up with way better fight scenes than this uh so it is possible but uh, let's let's go ahead and continue this on here. Boom. Kick. Okay. Knock stuff down. Back. Now, this is what's so interesting about this, too. Here. Random chain. And right there. Okay. So, we're going to pause it again right there. Okay. Understand what just happened. All right. He. <laughs> he. Knocks Billy back into the. In, in, in the. Uh. Uh, back of a pickup, all right, and the proceeds to to jump towards him, but jumps inside the back of the bed of the truck. Happens to be a random chain. Now, this is the only time we we see Billy Blanks up to this point dodge or evade something, because as soon as he sees him coming, he moved. But he obviously did move too far because the time it took for Mathis to jump in the bed of the truck find a random chain by the way yank it off of the truck Billy is still there (laughs) he's still there he's still there standing so you're telling me after all this time he didn't bother to maybe back up move away uh (laughs) Tell him to come from down there from the from a you know a nice reasonable safe distance. No, he just moves out of the way. He he moves out of the way, right? Then I guess stays there with his back towards him while he's gathering and yanking this chain off, and then proceeds to be choked <laughs> by this chain. <laughs> now I own this movie. I'm guilty of this is a guilty pleasure of mine. Okay. I own this movie. I, I've I've explained before that I watch every form of a martial arts movie, whether it's bad or good. Right? I've I've, I've probably seen seen so many of them. It's it's ridiculous. I, I've seen the difference between a, a very poor choreographed movie and an excellent choreographed movie. This one on the on the bit of the poor side. Uh, so and I own this movie. So. <laughs> 
I've seen it several, several times. Uh, but uh, I just think that's silly, you know, silly. But let's let's go ahead and dive back into it. Choke, kick in the face, drags him in the back of the bed. Funny, funny, funny. The camera work is is funny as well. The face, right? Okay. Now that that's kind of funny in itself. But look at that palm attacks, and look at the way Mathis punches. I think that's kind of silly as well. That that was pretty cool. Perfect dive. There's that little flutter, those flutter kick things, those skip kicks. <laughs> kick in the face I love that kick that he does so this is look at the the reactions of which uh, how Mathis the reaction of which how Mathis gets hit and this is kind of in reference to what I was talking about before with the awkwardness the way he moves awkwardly you know he doesn't seem like it, he's comfortable he kind of moves awkwardly you know like like I said believe it or not Despite what this video shows, he is a certified martial artist. Uh, but, you know, he moves so awkwardly when it comes to the screen. Um, hey, I wouldn't want to fight him. <laughs> but, but <laughs> you know, it's just, uh, it's just it's funny. I, I mean, and let's, let's look, look at this. this let's... Uh, take a look at this again but his the way he gets hit hit is is not so much the hit but the reaction of the hit right even how he, he springs up he looks ridiculous in the face the reaction right the reaction is <laughs> now that's a great stop now those the moves that that billy blanks is performing on his leg when he when he catches it are, are legitimate forms. He's he's he's, um, he's trying to disable the leg there, but causing all that pain. Uh, uh, um, you know the the it, it's it's similar. I don't know if, if any of you guys remember in school. I'm trying to dole this down a bit. Like when you got a dead leg, you know, like someone gave you a dead leg, they come up and they knee you right in the side of your leg, you know, kind of to uh, uh, stun or uh, paralyze the muscles for a bit. That's what that pretty much is. That uh, so uh, legitimate um, and uh, is is uh, um, primarily karate based. Is what that is. That that uh, the paralyzing of the of the muscles within the leg is uh, is is a move that's primarily karate based. Found a lot of different karate, uh, um, karate disciplines. Um, it's very basic. Um, but as you can see through this entire fight scene, how basic it, it, it everything is. So, and, and that's uh, it's. <laughs> that, I'm gonna go back one more time to see because I'm telling you, Mathis's reactions are silly. Even that last hit to the face, he didn't even see. And here, here's here's what's wrong about this, and we'll look at let's, let's look at this again. The reaction of when he gets hit in the face after. You know, Billy is is damaging all the the leg, the muscles and the legs. And Billy does a backhand, and M Mathis doesn't even turn the right way. He turns the opposite way of which he he was hit. Well, well I, I want you to see this one more time here, so you understand what I'm talking about. Uh, is that he hits him <laughs> right in it? He. <laughs> And his reaction to it is just so silly. He gets backhanded in his right cheek, okay? But rather than pivot to the right because of how, pivot to the right because of the hit, he pivots into the di direction of which he got hit. So he, he gets hit in the right cheek. You're supposed to move to the left, right? Because it, it, as a reaction on how hard that hit was. Okay, but instead getting hit in the right cheek, he moves into it, into the right, and then his recovery reaction looks weird. <laughs> but you know the problem with that is too is that it's not necessarily Mathis's fault on that reaction because 
he couldn't necessarily move to the left. Why? As we saw, okay, as you can see there, uh, because Billy has his left leg. If he and he's holding it while he's hitting him. What should have happened was instead of Mathis using his left leg to try and roundhouse TV or movie roundhouse Billy, he should have came in with his right leg. That way it would have gave him some leverage and movement to when Billy actually hit him uh, in his right cheek, he can move to the left. But that's, that's just, you know, the lack of, 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 uh, uh, you know, well thought out choreography, you know, uh, it, it, so it's just, it's just really silly. The, the reaction to which the, how this all plays out, right? Silly. And of course that run jump kick, very, very nice. And this is also silly. So he grabs, Mathis grabs this giant, uh, pole beam. Say, look at this. Save stroke, save stroke. Save stroke. Save. See, Billy already got hit three times with this dang pole, man. And here we are again. He's just taking hits. And uh, he's just taking hits. He just he just loves to get hit. <laughs> and and Mathis is doing the same motion over and over again. He's 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 a repeat freak. He keeps repeating the same stuff over and over again. So there's not a whole lot of thought process that's been into this choreography and there's a lot of thought process as him as a martial arts artist doing the same move over and over again not mixing it up and not a lot of thought process on billy's part with noticing he's doing the same move over and over again and continually getting hit uh apparently billy does not know how to block not until the end really here we go right in the back there his reactions are silly and this is my favorite here. Uh, the little, this little small exchange they're about to do is probably the best part. Boom, 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 palm in the face. Boom, 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 boom. Love it. Okay, this is where it gets silly though. Scratch. <laughs> and why? <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't understand. <laughs> Why they had to zoom in on his face like that? It looks so corny and so cheesy. They didn't have to do that. For one, Billy looks ridiculous like that. And two, it's... Oh my gosh. It's just silly, man. Love the exchange. But let's look at it again. Oh my gosh. And <laughs> zooming into his face is unnecessary. If you really look to, uh, uh, you can see that the cab's a little shaky, you know. Uh, and, you know, one thing I, I, I failed to mention too on this here is the music that they put in the background for this, for this here. The music is horrible. There's it's jazz music playing for a fight scene. What jazz music? <laughs> and so so I mentioned earlier too. Before this it goes over, I mentioned earlier that uh, Mathis has an issue with the repeat stuff. He's a repeat freak, right? He keeps doing the same moves over and over again, using that same leg, that left leg. He, that's just, uh, he's obviously left-handed. He's a left leg. Uh, he's a lefty. But that's the problem that makes Mathis a little... He, he's he's awkward, and he, and he uses the same moves over and over again. So that's what makes him corny. And it's not just this movie. It's other movies he's also been in. He has a little bit of corny. So some of the other movies he does, uh, movies he does a little better and would control himself a little bit. But he, he's, he's a little corny. He's a certified martial artist, but when it comes to translating it over to the movies, it doesn't pan out too well. So that doesn't mean it's just because you know martial arts doesn't mean that you're automatically perfect for the movies, right? But I, I was going to mention Billy Blanks' his problem. Billy Blanks has, is better translated from... Uh, 
the dojo to the movies. He could, He's a martial artist, certified martial artist. He looks a lot better on in the movies in, in compared to his opponent in this case, right? He doesn't look as awkward. But his problem is, is in the way in which he, if you listen, if you really listen to it, Billy always does the cheesy, he literally says, Aya. He he literally says I. <laughs> he literally says I. But he's doing and he and he does it every single time. He he throws a punch or a kick, and this is what's off putting about it. It's because that hit the not necessarily his voice, but the fact that he says that like that in such a cheesy way. Every time he attacks, really throws throws him off. We'll compare him to a, a martial artist like uh, Michael Jai White. Michael Jai White doesn't say I oh, every time he attacks, does he? No, he doesn't. He doesn't. He just doesn't. The the move and the of course the sound effect placed within the movie studio speaks for itself. The move performed speaks for itself. You don't have to say that, and that's such a cheesy way. The 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 mytho the. Uh, the origin of that behind that is that if you yell out or uh, uh, sound off or screech like that where you're attacking, it's like a release of energy, right? That's, that's very common practice in the martial arts. So that's why when you go to like a, a, a karate class or anything like that, your instructor will often tell you to yell out like that. And I always found it awkward to do that, uh, but I, I did it in such a way where, I, you know, I, I wanted to sound legit. I didn't want to be... I didn't want to say I all right when I'm doing that. It sounds ridiculous, uh, but there is no specific thing you have to say. This is this one of the common things that that's that's kind of said. That's what makes it so cheesy, um, you know. And this is during a time, of course, of like uh, three little ninjas, right? Who were actually three. You know, you remember? I don't know if you guys remember during that area. Maybe it's beyond your time, or maybe it's right up your alley, right? There's the look. There's the kids wore green, yellow, and blue. I think it was is what is is the the geese that they wore, and they did that. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And even the Power Rangers at the time, Power Rangers, you know, right? It, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. You know, they all do that when they fight. Well, what are what are the Power Rangers and the three little ninjas have in common? They're more specified and more. Uh, the demographic is for kids. That's why that stuff is is so accepted for them. But for Billy blanks and, and in this movie in particular all his movies actually they're more adult uh targeted you know there's there's drug use in here there's violence there's sex there's nudity and things like that he over here going I -ah, I -ah, like it just it, no it does not work it does not work but the 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 origin the premise of that the uh the uh uh, uh mythology of all that is that you know when you yell like that, when your attack is supposed to be a releasing of energy, uh, you know, you, it, it, and this is again, uh, uh karate based. Um, I know, um, uh, Kung Fu has similar, uh, something similar, uh, where they have, they yell and everything, they do attacks, but I know it, it's extremely heavy within uh, karate because it's like a, uh, uh, I guess to, to better, to, to better uh, understand this, uh, karate is more of the iron fist uh, type of. Uh, um, it's the one they're the, they're the the one one hit punchers, right? Uh, they, they they look for those haymakers. They are more for uh, strength transference and uh, and one hit like increments. Whereas kung fu is more like a fine needle there's a lot of other moves and elegance and, and other things in there so with karate when they do the you know you'll 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 see it they'll ah ah you know do that it's the releasing it's that one punch that's supposed to really you know uh end it it's that one punch it's all your power it's the release of that that's why that 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 i all stuff comes into play but it just doesn't work with billy blanks and he says it every single time he attacks and it's just it's just not good not good so let's go ahead and and, uh, and see the last of this here <laughs> uh, there you go nice little spin that right there he didn't have to do that spin at the end a little pose oh 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 and all the boxes <laughs> He's tired. He's tired. Notice too that through this entire fight, Mathis was kicking his butt, to the, kicking his ass through, the, through most of it, and it was only the last form of hits near the end, 
after that that pickup that Billy really started to get his hits in. And in comparison, the hits that Mathis gives him is a, is a little bit more than what Billy gives him. But Billy's is just enough to take Mathis out. I think that's funny. Uh, but yeah, so this has been <laughs> an interesting uh, segment of boards don't hit back let me know what you guys thought of that fight scene maybe you noticed something that i missed um this is one of the fight scenes i've also been wanting to analyze uh and uh billy blanks in talents of the eagle fighting against uh mathis hughes uh this has been boards don't hit back so i'll catch you guys in the next video